Okay, somebody asked me to do number 11. I, I copied the picture over again because this had a lot of marks on it, so I copied it over so I could do it again. Um, G is the centroid. Alright, what is the key property of a centroid? Um, one way to look at it is the key property of a centroid is the centroid will divide this median into three equal parts. So uh, this is the longer part, so I could split it in half and have three equal parts. Well, if this part right here is 10, if I split it evenly, then this is going to be 5 and 5. And uh, this will be 5 too if I, if I need it. Um, so, one question I'm asked is what is FG? Alright, well that's over there. We'll have to come back to that in a second. Um, but it also asks me what is BD? That's the one I can answer right now. BD is all the way from the top to the bottom. 5, 5, and 5. That one is 15. Okay, now how about finding FG? What's that all about? Well, here's FG right here. So that means I need to look at this median. FG is the small part. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the big part. I see it's 13. I'm going to take that big part and split it in half. That's going to give me my three equal pieces. Um, well, what's half of 13? It's, um, it's going to be a decimal, okay? Half of 13 is 6.5. So that means I'll have 6.5 and another 6.5 and another 6.5. So what's going to be the length of GF? 6.5. So that's why FG is 6.5. I also had a request to do number 12. So here it is. CG is 3x plus 7. So here's CG right here. So that is my 3x plus 7. CE is 6x. Switching colors. Let's go with purple. So this is CE. CE is 6x. Um, I feel like I need to leave space, maybe. Do I? Yeah, I will. Okay, CE is this whole thing. So that is 6x. That's the whole thing. Okay. Um, look, there are two different ways to do this problem. I'm going to do this problem both ways real fast. One way, the way I showed you in class today is I could take this 6x because that's the whole thing and divide it into three equal parts. Alright, dividing this purple into three equal parts would look like this. How do I divide 6x into three equal parts? Well that would make 2x and 2x and 2x. There's my three equal parts. Um, now, I need to make an equation. Look at the red part, the 3x plus 7. That's one side of the equation. Okay, 3x plus 7. Now, look at the other side. Look at the purple. Obviously, 3x plus 7 doesn't equal the whole thing. How much of this purple does it equal to? Alright, I'm hoping you can see that the 3x plus 7 is equal to this part of the purple right here. How big is this part of the purple? Well, that's 2x, 2x, that's 4x. So the 3x plus 7 should equal 4x. So that's why I will put 4x over here. This is the way I taught it to you in class. So then I could solve it from there. 
I could um, subtract 3x from both sides minus 3x minus 3x so that's just going to give me x equals 7 okay so for me that's the quickest way to do it that's one way to do it now here's another way to do it Let me scroll down okay here's another way to do it when we learned about um, what a centroid does as far as the median we learned that the centroid can break the median up into three equal parts but first we start off with two parts a big part and a small part um, so the bottom line if you look at those three equal parts one way to look at it is um, the bigger part is two-thirds of the whole thing see because it's two-thirds here and here so the big part is two-thirds on the other hand the small part is one-third of the whole thing so uh, sort of looking at, at looking at it as a formula it would look like this um, the big part is two-thirds of the whole the small part is one-third of the whole and of course looking at the big part compared to the small part the big part is double the small part so in a way if you had to you could memorize these three formulas hopefully it wouldn't be much memorization if you understand the three equal part business um, but so basically keep these three formulas in your mind big is twice the small big is two-third of the whole small is one-third of the whole keep that in your mind okay so here's the other way to approach this problem again um, CG is 3x plus 7 so here's my CG okay and that is 3x plus 7 okay um, and then CE is 6x okay and of course CE is the whole thing so CE is 6x now as far as these formulas go I need to know am I dealing with the big part the small part or am I de dealing with the whole thing that's how I'll know which formula I'm going to use so looking at the uh, the red here is this the big the small or is it the whole thing I'm hoping you realize that this red part here is the big piece so this is the big part of the median what about the 6x what's that that's the whole thing so I've got a big piece and I've got the whole thing so which one of these formulas involves the big piece and the whole thing it's this one the big part is two-thirds of the whole okay so I could write that equation the big part is equal to two-thirds of the whole thing so the big part that's 3x plus 7 so I could write that down 3x plus 7 um, the whole thing is 6x so that's going to be 6x okay so the big part is equal to two-thirds of the whole thing 3x plus 7 the big part is equal to two-thirds of the whole thing which is 6x so I have this equation um, so it's just a matter of solving this equation in general I mean there's more than one way to do it but one thing that I like to do is to get rid of the denominator I could get rid of the denominator by multiplying by 3 so I like to do this I like to multiply both sides of the equation by 3 so I'll put a 3 right here and I'll put a 3 right here 
That way these threes are going to cancel each other out. So that's going to give me, um, when I do the distributive property, I'm going to have 9x plus 21. These threes are gone, so I just have 2 times 6x, so that's 12x. Now, if I subtract 9x from both sides, that's going to give me 21 is equal to 3x. If I divide both sides by 3, that's going to give me x equals 7. Okay, is that the same answer we got last time? Yes. Okay, clearly this way is much easier. So when it works, this is going to be the way to go, splitting it up into three equal parts. Um, in other videos that I've posted, there are certain problems where you have no choice. Um, on problem number 20, um, there is a problem where you had no choice but to use this formula. So it's good to see it, but um, hopefully uh, you can avoid having to do this most of the time. So that's how you do number 12.